Hi everyone, my name is Keely and I'm the owner and creator here at Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for this behind the scenes video. Today I'm going to take you along as I make a crescent moon and some stars to go onto the next soap and I'm also going to share with you a couple of tips about using the PVC pipes when you are trying to create a crescent moon and believe me you really want to know this tip to save yourself a lot of wasted soap. Let's go. Before we get into making the soap, I'm going to show you how I prepare my PVC pipes to do a crescent moon. So I've got two different sizes here so that when they actually slide into each other, I get a really nice sort of size moon, but also a nice little crescent in there as well. I'm going to work on the bigger piece first. What I've got here is some silicon baking paper. You can use freezer paper as well. I'm going to start by just rolling that up into a cylinder like so and then I drop it into my pipe now I'm pretty lucky my um, paper is just wide enough to fit into my little pipes here and it sits nicely the next thing I'm going to do is just to secure the end down here I have got a little bit of petroleum jelly it's the best thing I have found for me just going to put a little bit on my PVC pipe there and just secure that in place so that it doesn't move. Now I find although sticky tape will stick to my PVC pipe, it will never ever stick to my freezer paper. So this is just how I stop it from moving around in there. So we've got that piece in. Now I'm gonna work on my smaller bit. So I've got my smaller piece here. Now because we are pouring the soap down the outside of this one, rather than lining inside, we wanna do the outside of the pipe. So first thing I'm gonna do is take some of my petroleum jelly here and just wipe it up the side. I'm going to grab my paper and then you will see as we wrap that around, just making sure it is flush on the one end of my pipe, stick that down, roll it over and I'm going to put some more of that jelly along this cut edge of paper so that as I roll that over it sticks down so that's now nicely lined and then I can come through and just put other little bits where I need it. So the next thing I've got, I've got some electrical tape here I'm just going to find my end and cut myself a piece and then what I'm going to do is pop my smaller tube inside my bigger one here and I like to try and line it up so that those um, edges of paper are against each other like where the actual joins are in the paper are against each other so it doesn't actually come through in that soapy embed just going to put my bit of tape in there onto the PVC pipe and fold that over and that will hold that one in place so it doesn't go all wonky when we are pouring and then I'm going to do the same with this piece here so do it on the opposite end so make sure that stays nice and straight all right so that one is all on there now I've got a little end cap here now one of the biggest things I find when trying to do this crescent moon and it took me several attempts um, in the past before I learned it was that when you start pouring your cold process soap in if you're not careful this pipe here does lift a little bit and then you end up with half of your big pipe filled and half of your little pipe filled and it is a pain to get your soap out of that small pipe when you haven't got that lining in so what I've got here I've got a little bit of melt and pour I'm going to go melt that down in the microwave all right, so that is melted down. I'm going to pour it into my end cap. You really don't need it with these end caps normally because they are um, quite tight fitting onto the pipes and don't leak because the idea is they are meant to hold water. I'm just going to go give that a really good knockdown. All right, so I've given that a knockdown on there. As I said, these pipes are actually designed to be used in the house and to hold water. So these end caps are really tight because they don't want them actually um, leaking. And what I'm going to do is just pour some more of that melt and pour into the bottom just to hopefully create a little bit of a plug in there. I'm going to leave it here to set up. I'm going to go and get the oils and then we're going to start pouring our crescent moon. 
So I've got, I've got my oils and I've got my sodium hydroxide distilled water solution. I've also got a little bit of sodium lactate in here because I have one of the star molds here as well, which I'm going to hopefully pour myself a little bit of soap in there to do some embeds. I have got my little bit of fragrance oil measured out here. Um, this is called Magic in the Air type and I got it from off the fragrance shed. It sounds beautiful and it smells really good too. It's got almond flower, white iris, vanilla persimmon, water lily, white iris, sandalwood and musk. It does have 1% vanillin in it but that's okay because a lot of our colours are going to be very dark. What I'm going to do is pour in my sodium hydroxide distilled water solution, pop it into my oils and bring it to emulsion. Then I will split it out for just a little bit of colour and we will add in our fragrance oil and then start pouring it into that mould. I am going with a gold thing for my moon and my stars this time and that is because this is for a mystique sort of, um, what do you call it, a mystique themed soap and generally when you're looking at that sort of mystique zodiac style of thing, the stars and the moons are often gold whereas um, usually we would colour them in like greys and silvers. So I thought just for something different we'll do our moon and stars in gold. So into there I have put in some resplendent which is a really dark gold colour and in here I have got some extravagance gold mica which I dispersed in oil. Kind of got into that sort of thing where I always disperse my fragrant my uh, micas in my pots with the oil and then I realized I actually didn't need to have dirtied this pot. <laughs> so I'm going to scrape as much of that out as I possibly can but I'm also going to put in just a little bit more of that extravagance because I don't think I've got quite enough in there to get that real nice sparkle. It's looking a little bit dark there. Now even though this fragrance oil is full of those floral notes and in particular that water lily because I've had um, fragrance oils with water lily in before and they accelerate like nobody's business but I will admit I have tried making a star in bed um, earlier using this fragrance oil and it behaved really really well. Um, the embed didn't work but the um, the fragrance oil was really well behaving despite all of these floral notes so I know I've got plenty of work time here. So I'm going to get this fragrance oil stirred in. I'm then going to do an in the pot swirl of the two golds and then we're going to pour it into our prepared PVC mould. both now nicely filled up. I'm going to leave them sit here overnight and we're going to be back in just a moment and we will unmold them and I also have one other embed that I'm going to show you how I'm going to make. All right so we are ready to now start unmolding these. Let's do our little column mold first. So this is the one with the little star. All I'm going to do is very gently I say <laughs> break this apart and hopefully that star will come out without breaking. So I'm just running my thumb down between the gap there just to relieve the pressure and out pops my star quick <laughs> just a little bit so there it goes and that is the star now I'm not actually going to be using all of this I'm going to chop it up into little um, probably about half a centimeter pieces and I'm going to use the little stars on the top of this soap what I do also want is an embed to go on the inside of this. So what I'm gonna do is give myself about that much. So that's gonna become some soap dough and we'll make that one up in a minute. So I'll pop that to one side. Um, I will pretty much then go through and I'm just gonna chop that through. I'll probably actually go and get the 
um, single bar cutter to do them so that I don't end up ruining my stars. But that is what I'm going to use as the embeds to go on the top of this next soap. So pop you over there. Uh, let's get this one out. So I'm just going to go and knock the end of this off with my mallet. So we have the end off. Let's take the tape and we'll take that bit of tape off as well. So if you have watched that, um, the one that I did, oh, which one was it? The, um, the Moon Child, the Enchanted Woods one, and I said I had so much trouble. That is the only time I've ever had trouble. They literally always come out just like this. So I do not know what happened with that one, other than the fragrance oil was very soft. That Moon is looking beautiful. Let's get it unwrapped. Next thing I'm going to do is try and push this piece of silicon pipe out of here. There it goes. So I'm actually pushing the pipe out but leaving the paper still in and I find doing it this way it doesn't damage the edge of the moon whereas if I try and pull the paper out at the same time it damages all the edge here. What I'm going to do is run my knife just along the edge there just to break that seal on the paper and now we can get that paper out as well So there is our little crescent moon there. So I just need to make one more embed. I will cut off the end of that. In fact, what we'll do is we'll grab our mold, grab my bigger knife to make it easier to cut. Let's cut this melt and pour off the end first. And then as I've done with other moon embeds, I am going to pop my moon against the edge. I'm gonna get, oh, don't let it fall in too far. I'm going to get my knife under this edge down here, right up against the edge and just lift it up so it makes a mark where I actually need to cut that. So we need to go about there, cut that through and now our moon embed is ready to go into our soap mould. I do have this one other embed that I want to create for this soap as well. So I want a little star to actually go inside the soap but this soap, um, this mould is actually too big for what I am looking for. Um, so what we're going to do is going to use the extruder tool. Now if you've got one of these tools you will know that there are no star shapes in the extruder tool so I've had to make one. I've been looking around for ages to see how I can actually create one and I believe it was I Dream in Soap. She's got a couple of different ways that you can do um, custom sort of um, extruder shapes and one of them is to take a piece of plastic some sturdy plastic and cut out the shape that you want and make sure that it then fits inside here so that's what I've done I've got a piece of a plastic chopping board that I tend to use for any of the sort of shapers that I wanted to make cut it out I'm going to push it in make sure it goes all the way into the bottom there I'm gonna screw my bottom on here. Now what I find best when I've got something like that in there is I'm going to go and get my non-slip cloth and tie that on tightly. If I don't get it on tight enough it does actually push it off as I'm winding it through but if we've got it on nice and tight it won't do that. Let's get that a little bit thinner so it fits inside without making too much mess. That's it. pop my top on here. So I will leave links to iDream in Soap because she's got a, um, 
a couple of different ways of different things that you can use in the bottom of your extruders and I have had a go at a couple of the others as well um, to get the star shape but I decided this was the sort of star I actually wanted for this I actually wanted one that looked like a traditional star so this is how I was going but I will leave links to her channel so you can go and check her out because she does some awesome looking soaps and she has lots of really good tips as well so now all I'm doing is turning that until it starts to come out and we'll just straighten it up a little bit here that's it because I want this to be a nice straight cane of soap Oh, how's that? It's almost long enough. So we'll just put a little bit more through the extruder so I can get just the right amount. It won't look much like a star right now. Um, it kind of does. But once it's in the soap and you cut this into its individual pieces, it really does then start to come up like a star. So I hope you have enjoyed watching how I have made these embeds to go into the next soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And if you hit subscribe and the little bell, it will let you know when the next video comes up where I'll be showing you how I am using these embeds. So until the next video, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you then. Bye.